so we're looking at the Think Car Think Scan Plus, an OBD2 scanner. It has the ability to read seven different systems. You can look at live data. You can update it via Wi-Fi. You can print. You can share the report information. It has a five-inch touch screen. So here's our unit itself. So we've got a Type-C USB cable, that's nice. Right, so we have eight different languages in our user manual. A uh, nice handle built in. Five inch touch screen. Has some nice thick rubber bumpers on it, so shouldn't be a problem as far as durability goes. Of course we have our interface for our OBD2 port here. Nice long cable. So it looks like we have a, probably a reset button, a micro SD card, and a USB port right there. All right, so as stated, you have full OBD2 uh, capabilities. You can do five different resets. There are uh, about 28 resets, but five of those are free built-in uh, options. Others are paid type support, uh, additional, if you will, and. Of course, you have the Wi-Fi update, the shares, and the reporting. Uh, so, a lot of different options are available with this device. I do like that it is touchscreen, so we'll go see how that works in the actual vehicle. And uh, just test it out. You can view live data if you'd like. Let's see what this actually looks like in the car and see how good of a job it actually does. We'll set out to the car and take a look. All right, the boot up process. So basically like an Android tablet when it starts up. Alright, if we pull down from the top, you can see our menu with the Wi-Fi, record, uh, rotate brightness and things like that. We have uh, scan, OBD2, we have maintenance and service, think store, update. So you can go through an update for your specific model. We hit app update. We have our main update. Think file, repair info, and settings. So if we go scan, since this is connected to Wi-Fi, it's automatically doing updates as necessary. I've already done some of the other system updates in the information screen you saw for updating previously. Alright, so you can see here I've got a 2013 Fiat 500 into the bar 1.4 it's turbo and the VIN number so all of that worked out really well so that was great so now I can go through health report system scan system selection and maintenance so let's do health report do a quick test all right so you can see the different things that have come up here so if we look rear wiper signal possibility failure radio PCM HVAC systems TPM system EPS battery voltage and the battery charger is actually on the car right now so it does have some issues there check or clear DTC so we can clear DTCs I'm going to clear yes let it scan again and the beeping you hear is coming from the actual car itself because of the diagnostics that's being run 
and you can see we have all green so that's nice it's back let's do a system scan real quick okay you can see some of the details here And this gives us specific information. You can see module information, some of the details. So I can read fault, clear fault, no fault codes, show data stream. So let's look at battery voltage. Hit OK. 11.68 volts so created a report so nice thing about this I can scan this code share it uh, you know I can print this information uh, later on I can save it as a PDF so just a really nice unit with a lot of features and a lot of capabilities Obviously, I can't go through every single uh, capability this thing has because there are a multitude. But by any means, I can go into maintenance, look for different things, troubleshoot. By any means, that's a quick overview to give you some idea of what this looks like. All right, so once we've created a report or scanned a vehicle and saved some data, we can go in to Think File. You can see here. The Fiat which I've scanned I've got the report option and that's the one I just recently saved so I can view and print save share all those type things all right so that gives you an idea of some of the functionality capabilities and how things work all right thanks for watching